Approximately 18 and a half miles, 30 kilometers from Bacolod on the central island of Negros in the Philippines, Mount Canlaon rises majestically, a sleeping giant that never rests completely. At 8,095 feet, 2,465 meters in altitude, this stratovolcano represents much more than the highest mountain in the Visayas. It is one of 24 active volcanoes that make the Philippines one of the most vulnerable nations on the planet to nature's whims. The name Canlaon derives from Laon, an ancient pre-colonial goddess of creation, agriculture, and justice, whose name means the Elder. Uh, ironically, this divinity who should protect the land has become synonymous with destruction and mass evacuations. The strategic location of Canlaon in the heart of the Philippine archipelago is no coincidence. It is part of the fearsome Pacific Ring of Fire, a seismic zone that houses 75% of the world's active volcanoes. The provinces of Negros Occidental and Negros Oriental, which the volcano literally divides in half, house millions of inhabitants who live daily with the latent threat of an eruption. The region around Canlaon sustains a prosperous agricultural economy, with extensive sugarcane fields that extend to the volcano's slopes, creating a disturbing contrast between the fertility of volcanic lands and the constant danger they represent. The geological history of Canlaon dates back millions of years when intense tectonic processes shaped this region. The volcano has a complex structure with a one and a quarter mile wide, two kilometer caldera in the northern portion where a seasonal lake forms and the active Lugud crater to the south from where the most violent manifestations of magmatic activity emerge. This unique configuration results from successive eruptions that over millennia built layer by layer the current volcanic edifice. The pyroclastic deposits found in the region reveal that Canlaon has already staged catastrophic events in the past, including the largest volcanic debris landslide ever recorded in the Philippines, which traveled 20 and a half miles, 33 kilometers, in a southwesterly direction. Modern scientific monitoring of Canlaon began in 1866, when the first officially documented eruptions were recorded. Since then, the volcano has staged more than 40 eruptive events most characterized by small to moderate phreatic explosions that produce ash and toxic gases. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, known as Five Walls, maintains constant vigilance through seismic stations, thermal cameras, and gas sensors, especially sulfur dioxide. The Canlaon Volcano Observatory, located on the La Carlota City College campus, functions as a command center for all monitoring and alert operations. The geological complexity of Canlaon is reflected in its unpredictability. Unlike other Philippine volcanoes, such as Mayon or Pinatubo, which have been extensively studied, Canlaon remains partially enigmatic to scientists. Its exact age has not yet been determined precisely, and its complete eruptive history remains incomplete due to the lack of detailed historical records prior to the 19th century. This gap in scientific knowledge makes it even more challenging to accurately predict the volcano's future behavior forcing authorities to maintain a state of permanent alert and well-structured evacuation systems to protect vulnerable communities living in its vicinity. Yesterday, October 23, 2025, Canlaon sent unmistakable signals that its fury was far from subsiding. During the early morning, two consecutive ash emissions were recorded by five volks, producing grayish plumes that rose up to 1,968 feet, 600 meters, above the crater before dispersing in the prevailing winds. The first emission occurred between 5.30 and 7.29, followed immediately by a second at between 7.39 and 8.05. These events, apparently minor compared to previous explosive eruptions, actually signaled the accumulation of magmatic pressure that would culminate in something much more dramatic just a few hours later. Today, October 24th, at exactly 8.05 in the evening, Mount Canleon staged an explosive eruption that lasted three minutes and generated an ash column 6,562 feet, 2,000 meters high, visible for miles around. Monitoring cameras at the lower Masulog station captured impressive images of the volcanic plume rising majestically against the night sky, while pyroclastic flows, deadly mixtures of superheated gases, ash, and rock fragments, descended the volcano's southern slopes, reaching up to six-tenths of a mile, one kilometer, from the crater. The mayor of Canlaon, Jose Chubasco Cardenas, immediately placed all rescue vehicles on standby, while the Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office coordinated with local community leaders to ensure residents' safety. 
The intensity of this eruption, although classified as minor by volcanological standards, created a terrifying spectacle for residents of the region. Remuel Lajo, commander of La Castellana's incident management team, described how the night sky was completely illuminated by the high ash columns expelled by the volcano, creating a dramatic contrast between the darkness of night and the sinister glow of volcanic activity. Despite the impressive display of nature's force, local authorities confirmed that immediate evacuations were not necessary since the eruption did not reach the intensity of the Great Explosion of December 2024. Five Vols maintains Canleon at Alert Level 2, which indicates increased unrest and strictly prohibits entry into the two and a half mile, four kilometer, permanent danger zone around the crater. This classification also restricts any aircraft flights near the volcano due to risks posed by volcanic ash and debris that can damage airplane engines and compromise pilot visibility. Nearby communities were advised to keep doors and windows closed during ashfall events and to use protective masks or damp cloths to avoid inhaling volcanic particles that can cause serious respiratory problems. The sequence of events over the past two days clearly demonstrates that Canlan remains in a state of significant magmatic unrest, with the potential to rapidly escalate to more violent eruptions. Philippine volcanologists closely monitor seismic data, gas emissions, and ground deformation, seeking patterns that might indicate imminent changes in the volcano's behavior. Experience accumulated from previous eruptions has taught authorities that Canlayon can surprise with sudden and intense explosions, making it essential to maintain alert and evacuation systems in perfect operation to protect the tens of thousands of people living near this sleeping giant. The collective memory of Filipinos still vividly holds the scars left by the explosive eruption of December 9, 2024, when Canlayon staged its most dramatic event in decades. At exactly 3.03 in the afternoon on that fateful day, the volcano awakened with uncontrollable fury, launching an ash column 13,123 feet, 4,000 meters, high that was visible even on the neighboring islands of Panay, Gumaris, and Cebu. The explosion lasted only three minutes and 55 seconds, but was sufficient to drastically alter the lives of thousands of people and force the largest evacuation operation in the region's recent history. The event was so powerful that it generated shockwaves audible for miles around, while deadly pyroclastic flows descended the southeastern slopes, carbonizing everything in their path. The authorities' response was immediate and massive. Within hours, approximately 87,000 people received urgent evacuation orders, being removed from their homes within a three and three-quarter mile, six kilometer radius around the crater. Evacuation centers were quickly established in cities like Bacolod, La Carlota and Bago, with capacity to temporarily shelter thousands of displaced families. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about the most extraordinary phenomena that shape our planet, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss upcoming content about volcanoes, earthquakes, and other geological events that demonstrate Earth's impressive power. Share this video with friends and family so that more people understand the importance of being prepared for natural disasters and support communities affected by volcanic events like those we have just explored.